So we're here at the Babcock State Park Campground in West Virginia. Just a nice, quaint little campground, pretty nice little place. Um, now you Northerners are gonna laugh when I say this, but for an East Tennessee boy, got down pretty cold last night. Uh, mid to high 30s here. Yeah, that's pretty cold for me. Um, we ended up heating the electric, or the, the teardrop with an electric blanket. Um, we had an electric blanket that's got a dial that goes from like um, one to 10. And we ended up finding the sweet spot was like two and a half to three. So we didn't have to have the electric blanket turned on much at all. And it not only warmed us up in the bed, but it actually heated the air in the whole cabin. Now for ventilation, we had one of the windows cracked open, I don't know, maybe a half inch, and we had the vent cracked open probably an inch. We were concerned that there'd be too much airflow and it'd be cold. Now it worked out great. That electric blanket did a good job. Um, condensation, I've heard folks talk about condensation. We did not have any on any of the wood surfaces. The only condensation I had was like, you can see it right here on this metal uh, trim going around the door and then come in here you can see there's some condensation on the the metal ring right here none of that dripped on us last night it just kind of beat it up and really didn't even run so it wasn't a problem but no condensation on the wood so that worked out really well so I'll probably end up giving a full update um, you know maybe its own episode in the future but just to let you all know, these car tires, I'm running Toyo Extensas. They're doing great. I pulled at like 75 miles an hour on the interstate. No problems. They're wearing good. I am just so glad that I went with these. That way I can only air them up to 35 pounds instead of 50. It rides so much better. All right, so she hasn't fixed herself up yet, so she don't be on camera, but tell us what happened. The dump station is right outside the window of the shower house. Yeah, I've never seen that before. And, they open, and you can smell it the entire time. Um, the water pressure was non-existent. It took me 10 minutes just to rinse And there was hair. no heat in there mine. There was no heat. Yeah, no. It, was, it was pretty cold. There was cold. no heat. Um, only one of the bathrooms stalls out of four was actually suitable to use. You're taking one for the team, aren't I'm you? I'm taking one for the team. So here we are at one of the most iconic scenes in the entire state of West Virginia. Um, what you see in the background is the Glade Creek Grist Mill at the Babcock State Park. Good night. I mean, could you imagine any more of a perfect scene than this? You've got the uh, grist mill in the background with some trees kind of staggered back and forth along the way with some fall colors at that. You've got a waterfall in the front. I mean, this is, this is a photographer's dream. This is like the third, I don't know, third or fourth time that I've been here shooting this location. It is just, if you're a photographer, this is where you want to be. Amazing. I went uh, down to the gift shop just to see if I could find a sticker for the back of the camper and we came out and I recognized this camper if you've seen an episode of two or go um, I did a little bit of a viewer spotlight on a guy named Ron Snow he built um, this little red teardrop it looks like Ron has pulled in behind us how funny is that I knew he's coming through West Virginia this week and um, but I didn't think I would meet up with him here at the Babcock State Park so that's pretty cool Okay, you're gonna have to forgive the background noise. I got a lot of rushing water back here, but I wanted to show you this. This is a place called Sandstone Falls, West Virginia. And this waterfall is like, it's almost a quarter of a mile wide. It is absolutely phenomenal. We've got good water flow. We've got some fall colors starting in the background. This place is incredible. Could not be in a better place for a photographer.
All right, so this is what photographers do when they're not at home. They find the nearest laundry room and they put their laptop on the laundry machine and use that as the table. This is high tech right here. So we're at the New River um, National River Visitor Center. It's pretty cool. They actually have um, a map, a big map of the New River, how it meanders around in the, in the floor of the visitor center. It's pretty cool. All right, so that was an early morning trip to Sandstone Falls. Um, we got up early that morning. It was cold in West Virginia, cold for me anyway, being an East Tennessee boy. Um, but we got out there, we shot that thing. It was just a beautiful morning, fall colors. And Ron Snow, let me tell you, he's a super nice guy and he's a great photography guide um, and a real good teardrop builder too. So that was Saturday morning. And then Saturday night, we had a chance to meet him and his wife for dinner. Genie. Yep, Genie. Um, and they actually bought us dinner. They, they treated us out to a wonderful Italian meal. What was the place called? Pascal's. Pascal's in Beckley, West Virginia. Um, wonderful meal, good fellowship. And what really surprised us is after the meal, um, we go out in the parking lot and Genie grabs a, a, a gift bag out of the truck. Mm -hmm. What was in that? A taste of West Virginia. A taste of West Virginia. So yeah. There was all kinds of canned goods, you know, uh, uh, there was mustards, there was pickles. Salsas. Salsa. Honey. Honey. Gravy. So a good taste of West Virginia to bring back to Tennessee. So let me just tell you, you can watch the news, you can get on, you know, different spots of Facebook, and you'll see drama, you'll see things, you know, bad going on in the world. But let me tell you, it reminded us that there are not only good people in the world, but there are very fine people in the world. Um, Ron and Jeannie, some of the best people we've met, very accommodating, yeah. very hospitable. Yes. So it was a blessing to meet you all, and hopefully you can get down to Tennessee and we can return that favor. So anyway, we've got more adventures from West Virginia coming up, but that's all for today. So until next time, take care. We'll see you on the road.